Hi, I'm Angela. Today I want to show you how to choose the right database for your information needs in Pennsylvania's Power Library. Power Library provides Pennsylvanians free access to high quality information that is typically not free on the internet. All you'll need to access it is a public library card or an e-resources card from the Power Library website. Before we head over to Power Library, let me show with, share with you three things to look for when choosing a database. Firstly, look at the subjects included in that database. Second, look for the dates included. And third, look for the material type. That would be things like trade magazines, books, scholarly journals, or images. So now, let's head over to Power Library and I'll show you how to find those things. Here we are at Power Library. There's the address, powerlibrary.org. Underneath the big find, you'll see Help Me Choose and List All E-Resources. Click on Help Me Choose because this is where you will find all the research databases collected by subject. I'll click on Business. Right away I see Business Source Main Edition and underneath a link to something called the full description. This is not a lot to read, but it contains such wonderful information about what's inside this database. Right away I see Scholarly, Full Text, Magazines, and Journals, so I know the material type. A little further down, I see dating back to 1985, so I know the date range, or at least when it starts. And at the very bottom is a bulleted list of many of the subjects included in Business Source Main Edition. Every database in Power Library includes a link to its full description. Now if you're just getting started with your research, or maybe you still don't know what to choose after looking at the full description, or you're looking for a specific publication within Power Library, underneath General Reference is EBSCOhost. This will provide a single location from which to simultaneously search most of Power Library's databases. There you have it. Now you know how to find out what's inside a Power Library database. Thank you.